This is the Tech Data Cyber Range. My name is Josh, and I am joined by John. Hello. We are engineers at the Cyber Range, and today we will be showcasing to you one of our three strategic curriculum partners, RangeForce. They develop self-paced learning modules to help empower IT and security professionals with real-life security skills. Let's go ahead and get started with their introductory module. Right now we're going ahead and launching the module for us. It is going to open in our browser and then we'll be able to begin. Since this is um, the introductory module on the Range Force platform, it's going to be very simple and walk us through the different types of information we're provided when we go through additional learning modules. Um, it's a good place just to get started to familiarize yourself with what you can do through the full suite of material. So the first thing that has opened up for us here is the virtual teaching assistant. The virtual teaching assistant provides us with details related to the learning module. This helps us understand what our objectives are, the information that needs to be completed, questions that may be asked related to that material, and just ultimately what our learning objectives are. So let's go ahead and get started. Right here, we are greeted with information regarding what this text or these details provide. It is really related to the objective of the module and what types of questions or information we'll be going through. We can view the steps to understand what's next. We are provided with details regarding the two additional tabs related to the virtual teaching assistant. First, we have the instru instructions, which is the information you see here on the screen. We have the material, which is either a guide or additional documentation that helps us in completing the Range Force learning module. As well, we have the feedback type tab to give, inform to give feedback related to how we had, a, what, what type of experience we had. So this is a multiple choice question. Question are, it is, what are the different formats of modules on the platform? We are provided with seven different options here. Where we can find this information is in the materials tab. Having read this before, we know that the module formats available to us are the desktop lab, the micro lab, and the theory lab. So let's go ahead and select those. Once we have selected the correct answer, we're provided with a checkbox, which lets us know we can move on to the next step. The next step here provides us with information regarding how to navigate the virtual te teaching assistant. The information provided to us lets us know that some of these learning modules aren't learn linear. This means that questions can be skipped or we can go back and forth between the information. Here, we're asked how many answers were we able to choose from in the previous step? So to find out, we can just go back to the previous step, count these all up, and know that there is a total of seven. We can save our response, and we're provided again with a green check mark, knowing we're able to move on to the next objective. In the next object objective, um, hints are reviewed for us. Hints, uh, sometimes there are going to be tasks within inside of a learning module where you might need to be prompted with hints to know what to do. Here, it provides us with information about asking the hint. So as we can see below, hints available to us is a total of two. We can ask for a hint. The hint tells us that we need to um, touch something. Touch is a command within Linux that allows for us to create eight, a file. So if I'm here, I can find out where my working directory is. I could CD into something like documents. And I could touch a file. 
having done this, we don't receive a check mark. So maybe we should ask for another hint. The hint tells us we need to touch on the desktop. So we can do the same thing, moving back to our desktop. We can touch the file here. And again, we see that we haven't received a check mark yet. If we're still lost, we can reveal the solution. And the solution reveals to us that we specifically have to touch a text file named tutorial. So if we touch tutorial.txt, we are presented with the final green check part knowing that we have completed the module. Again, this is the Tech Data Cyber Range. Thank you for watching.